I'm starting with my eyebrows and I'm brushing them out with the Anastasia Brow is in Dark Brown. Then I'm outlining the bottom and top of my brow. Now I'm going to start filling in the brow with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Dark Brown. Now I'm priming my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I'm using the Urban Decay Vice Palette for this look and I'm taking the shade Downfall and applying that in my crease with a Sephora blending brush. Now I'm taking my L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner and I'm applying that on my lash line. Now I'm just going to blend that all out. Now I'm taking the shade Revolver from the palette and I'm going to apply that all over the lid. Now I'm taking an e.l.f. blending brush and I'm picking up some of that downfall shade from earlier and I'm going to apply that in the crease and blend this all out. I'm picking up some more of the revolver shade and I'm applying that a little higher on the lid so it kind of reaches the crease. This is just going to intensify the look a little more. I'm taking that e.l.f. blending brush again and I'm just going to keep blending. Going back with a Sephora blending brush to blend this even more. I'm taking Bobbi Dazzle from the palette and I'm going to apply that on my brow bone. I'm going to take my Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush to blend all of these shades together. I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and applying that all over my face. my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush along with my Makeup Forever HD foundation. I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I'm going to use my Real Techniques Expert brush just so I can make sure everything is covered well because the F80 is a little bit too big. Next I'm using my True Match Concealer just to cover all the dark spots and blemishes. Okay, 
Here I'm taking a little cell phone break, sending my best friend a progress selfie. And then I'm going in with my LA Girl Cosmetics Concealer in Creamy Beige, just to highlight under the eyes, on the bridge of the nose, on the forehead, Cupid's bow, chin, and around the lips. Here I'm realizing I look ridiculous with my mouth open and I'm just gonna close it real quick. <laughs> Now I'm blending this out using the Soft Blend Concealer by Sigma, the F64 brush. And now I'm setting this using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and the shade Banana. And I'm using my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. Now I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match powder and a powder brush and I'm going to set my foundation. Now I'm going to go back to the eyes to do the lower lash line and I'm going to go in with Downfall and then I'm going to put Revolver right on top of that. And doing the lower lash line just really completes the look, so try not to skip that step. Here I'm taking my Sigma pencil brush and I'm just blending all of that out. Now I'm going to use my L'Oreal eyeliner and my waterline. I'm going to take Bobbi Dazzle from the palette and I'm going to put that in my inner corners. With a dark look like this, the key is just to continue blending. I forgot to set my eyebrows so I use the Benefit Gimme Brow to set them now. Now I'm using my Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and I'm applying a thousand coats on each eye. using Laura Geller Glam Lash on the bottom lashes. Now I'm using a Spice-ish lip liner and this is by Yves Saint Laurent and I stole this from my mom so I don't know if it's still in stock but a good dupe is a Milani uh, lip liner in Spice. And then I'm mixing both Gerard Cosmetics 1995 and the nude shade on top of it. Now I'm bronzing my face with a powder brush and I'm going to contour as well with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm going to use the Sigma F05 contour brush. <laughs>
my Milani Rose Doro Baked Powder Blush using my Sigma F15 brush. using a little elf fan brush and the highlighter in the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit to highlight the top of my cheekbones. <laughs> And that completes the look. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe.